good morning. Hello. So, I got woken up this morning by a knock on the door, but it was a good knock on the door. And let me show you why. Uh, there we go. That sort of reflection of it is quite glowy. But let's do the standard. I got the collector's edition picture. Okay, that will do. And time to unbox it, guys. So let's unbox the collector's edition of Heavensward. Look at how far down can this camera go? Right. So I'll try my best to display everything. This camera doesn't tilt down as much as I would like it, but whatever. There you go. So, I'll be more gentle about this compared to the Kingdom Hearts one, because I actually dropped that one. <laughs> At least I'll try to be. <laughs> sure, again, there's always people watching me when I'm doing opening of collector's editions who are like, Oh my god! Be more gentle. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we're making progress. We're making progress. It doesn't seem to have taken the lid off with it. There we go. The, the lid is. Oh, the lid is part of. Seems to be stuck and part of this, so. Whatever. Okay, so. First things first. In this collected edition, you have. The game! Sorry, there's too much reflection. Let me try and close these curtains a bit. I don't know if that even helps. So you have the game. Oops. <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm so clumsy. You have a... A Realm Revisited, yours, your emotion. This is like the Blu-ray of all of the cutscenes from Around Reborn, so Blu-ray quality. <laughs> Attention! Warning! So this is maybe something I actually have to be delicate with. <laughs> wow, look at that. So here we have the Collector's Edition Dragon Statue. I am definitely going to open this because you can barely see it. And what else do we have in here? We have the art of Eorzea. So let's take a look inside. Wow, look at that. This sort of artwork from the expansion. Minor, botanist, yay, Fisher. And some other pieces of artwork so yeah i mean that's basically it that's all the collector's edition ever was i mean people might ask the question but why was it so unbelievably expensive and you have to remember guys they need money they need finances in order to to keep making us an unbelievably amazing game and then the other question came up a lot of why is it so expensive in the uk like why is it so much more expensive in the uk compared to like usa and i did some research and basically the reason was because of taxes, as simple as that, customs tax and VAT and whatever, it's just to get the game here for us, uh, a lot of the price we're paying is taxes more than the actual cost of the game. So let me open this, try not to damage the box, I mean this letter opener is so blunt so I really don't have to worry too much about damaging. I'm more likely to damage my finger then. Okay. Let's open it. 
Oh, there's one more. It's like, uh, you know, a kid on his the Christmas or his birthday receiving the thing he's been waiting so long for. Okay, let's take a look at this statue, which of course I'll put on my window. Could just make a video series and call it clumsy unboxing so today we're going to be unboxing this rare delicate antique and smash there you go <laughs> oh look at that let me put it back the way i think it was supposed to be This um, bottom piece is detachable. So we have our, our dragon. I don't know if you can see it too good. So let me put it there. Hope it stands up. <laughs> stand, my pretty stand. Okay, cool. So it stands. So that's awesome. So I'm going to leave that on my windowsill. I'll leave that right there. Okay, so I'm going to leave the box with the other boxes because I still have the collector's edition of 1.0 and Around Reborn. So, enough of my chair. Let's again put this down. So again, this box, if you want to look a bit closer, so we already have seen the art book. Let's put that down there. Now this box has got a special sort of pattern on it as well, which is pretty cool. So that's nice. So that's the unboxing done. Now, there are a couple of in-game stuff that we need to look at. So let's go in-game. Right, here we go. And as always, hello from Mifri in the unbelievably outrageously beautiful town of Ishgard. Look at that view. It's quite incredible. So we need to go to our closest mailbox because we can see I've got, I've got mail. So here is my mailbox right here. So delivery Moogle. And here we go. So thank you for playing Final Fantasy XIV. So here are my rewards for the expansion. So enclosed is a Baron Circler, a pair of Baron Earrings, a black, sorry, a Chocobo Chick Courier Minion. May they take you to a time when four was two and two was four. Okay, <laughs> right, so here, Baron Circlet, Baron Earrings, and the Chocobo Chick Courier. It says, it may not be in your best interest to entrust him with any important missives just yet. Okay, so let's take all that. So we're gonna see... Oop. Police in the area, I guess they know I'm having too much fun. So anyway, let's um, let's open this. Let's open this. So let's see. Let's use that. We're gonna summon him as well. So let's see. Black Chocobo Chick. Which page? Many, many pages of minions. This is now my one hundred and first minion. Where is he? Where is he? Here it is. So it says, spiteful claims that this adorable black chocobo hatchling is in fact simply another plain yellow chocobo colored with pine tar in a feeble attempt to prey on prospective buyers have only fueled the natural born flyer's passion to take to the skies. That's cool. So he's flying around, the flying little 
little baby chocobo, really. Okay, so next, let's look at the other items. Baron Circlet. I don't know if you can actually see it under Mifri's hair. But yeah, she's wearing it. Sorry, you can't really see it because her hair is too amazing. And then, let's see. Baron earrings. And again, this is going to be a challenge. But can you see those earrings? There you go. And the good thing about this game, there is a glamour system in this game. So, here you go. That's a bit, much better view. Do you see those? So, if you want to use this style you can just glamour these earrings over any other earrings you're wearing just for the sake of the look so that's basically it guys that's the collector's edition of Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward you need to remember that the code that you have the registration code that's actually in the game so you have to you have to open the game get the code out because that you will need that to actually keep playing the early access code is only good until the 27th like and then your game will deactivate unless you enter the other code in the mog station so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri